it opens a window into an area of aquatic experience that has been closed utterly. Well, hello. Come right on in. You're at Father Fish. Ah, let me introduce to you, my dear friends. Uh, this is Dave. But Dave, explain a little bit about what, what you have created, because it's pretty extraordinary. I call well, it Let's Scope It Out for the time scope. being. <laughs> In the natural bodies of water on this planet, be it marine or freshwater, at the limit of what we can see with the naked eye and beyond, hides a world as strange and wonderful as in a fairy tale. This is some of the first footage I took, actually. It's still with my wildlife camera, so that's a camera that was made for taking photographs. It opens a window into an area of aquatic experience that has been closed utterly. I have yeah. talked about it, but I've not been able to demonstrate it. And what you're doing now is showing what it is I've been talking about for the last couple of years. So the magic you add into the tanks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's yeah, it's really kind of a wonderland. It's really a it's... right, right, exactly. But we need to find ways to help people do this. I think um, as you do these and can explain the equipment that you're using, that's going to help people to discover this world in their own aquariums. I've seen people do amazing stuff just with their phone cameras, basically, because they wow. are very capable nowadays. And there's like uh, micro lenses that you can put in front of those to, to get a better, closer focusing distance. Uh -huh. A question of lighting. Lighting is very important. I mean, getting exactly the results I get is not that straightforward, maybe, but uh, you can observe these creatures with very simple means. You don't need a, a compound microscope or anything. Wow. Buy a, like a $25 USB microscope and, and observe protozoans swimming in your aquarium leaf mold. We will have to learn to treat our freshwater habitats with the respect that is due. Because after all, we ourselves need clean water to survive. So, at least in my book, a world where there is a place for amphipods is a good world. Explain what we're looking at. Basically, I had a microscopy jar with uh, duckweed in it that uh, was going for a good while. And when I started it, uh, I had uh, all kinds of Daphnia in it and small micro crustaceans and stuff. And uh, they seemed to get Less and less. So uh, it was only after a month or two that I discovered that this guy was in there and probably eating all of them. And uh, oh, really? So I took a closer look and uh, and there he was. Watched him eat some bloodworms. Now that's not a damselfly, is it? Or is it? I think it's a damselfly, a nymph. Yeah. It is a damselfly. Okay. Right, so he's eating. It's, it's a juvenile. It's a not not as uh, it's not like uh, four centimeters long. It's maybe right, right, half an inch. Oh, look at that in your look terms. Wow, well, there's a mosquito larvae. Yeah, for scale. Looking at that, wow. These are our friends. <laughs> right now, this this makes the case that. Predators control predators. And this damselfly is eating a mosquito larvae. And that oh, is yes. the nature of the microscopic world. Yeah, that's the, the kind of videos I'm, I'm making with narration and with uh, music. I always love photography and uh, the, the, I don't know, landscape and everything. And uh, a few years back, I, I I do I work as a market gardener, and I do um, yeah I work outside. So I started bird photography, and I always kept a big lens like in the car and close to me when I was working on the field and was observing birds. And I enjoyed uh, learning about nature and uh, ecology and stuff. And with 
the kind of market gardening I do is uh, mulch, deep mulch beds and stuff with uh, ecology and microbes being very important. I started to um, get into microscopy also because I watched uh, Journey to the Microcosmos, if you've done knows that it's a great channel on YouTube. Well, I bought a microscope because I learned about a technique that I only could try with a real microscope. <laughs> and uh, I got into all the kind of, yeah, the microfauna and the aquatic microfauna. I didn't know that it really existed like that, uh, how diverse and interesting those organisms are. And I, uh, I kept my sample jars for microscopy and I discovered then, uh, looking through the side of the jar, I discovered some techniques for getting really high quality imagery and uh, I started thinking that I need to share this and... I'm glad I'm able to show you this, but I've only recently discovered the ways I use to obtain this footage. In fact, that is the main reason I started this channel. I am working on a much more sophisticated setup for making these videos. This is just the beginning. There is so much to discover. If you like my content, feel free to share it. The channel is new and I am a horrible promoter. Any help is appreciated. Thank you for watching. And until next time. This is going to be a magnificent channel. I'm just very, very excited about it. And make sure everyone to click on the link to his <laughs> YouTube channel and subscribe and then watch his videos. This is, this is just remarkable.